Whitehall, what you'd see is matter spilling out of it, like repelled by the white hole. White holes are curious mathematical opposites of black holes. Scientists have made a mind-blowing discovery. After a ton of searching and wondering, they found something totally new in space, the first ever white hole. But what exactly is this white hole thing? Why are astronomers so excited about it? And hold on a second, how does this discovery even matter to us? Stick around as we delve into the details of the very first white hole that scientists have just discovered, unveiling white holes and the universe's duality. White holes, long thought of as theoretical celestial entities with distinct behaviors compared to black holes, have recently gained significant attention due to a groundbreaking discovery. Scientists have uncovered compelling clues suggesting the potential existence of white holes within our universe. While black holes draw matter and light toward an extremely dense core known as a singularity, white holes exhibit the opposite behavior. They expel matter and light, creating a barrier called the event horizon that prevents anything from entering. To draw a comparison, it's akin to having a twin who embodies your opposite preferences, an analogy that mirrors the relationship between black holes and white holes. Now, before we start talking about tricky white holes, let's learn more about black holes. These things in space are interesting and kind of mind-blowing. Picture them as cosmic superstars. They're incredibly dense, meaning they pack a lot of stuff into a tiny space. And their gravity is like a strong magnet, pulling everything towards them. It's so strong that even light can't escape. Scientists think there might be more than a hundred million of these black holes in our Milky Way galaxy. But here's the catch. Finding and studying them is hard. It's like trying to spot hidden treasure in a giant space puzzle. Way inside our Milky Way, there's this impressive thing called Sagittarius A-star. It's like a space giant, way bigger than our sun. Four million times heavier, to be exact. And it's not just nearby. It's chilling about 26,000 light years away, right in the middle of our galactic home. Now in 2019, a bunch of really smart scientists did something incredible. They formed a team called the Event Horizon Telescope Collaboration and did some serious brain work. Guess what they did? They took the first ever picture of a black hole. Imagine that. This black hole wasn't in our Milky Way, but in another galaxy called M87, which is a whopping 55 million light years away. That's too far from our little blue planet. Scientists were excited when they saw this amazing picture. It was like solid proof that Albert Einstein was right about black holes, which he talked about way back in 1916 in his theory of relativity. Back then, people didn't even have a name for black holes until 1967, when an American stargazer named John Wheeler came up with the term. Before that, it was just an idea bouncing around in scientific circles. The first real black hole that was discovered had a cool name, Cygnus X1. This one was just hanging out in our galaxy, the Milky Way, in a group of stars called Cygnus the Swan. Here's the story. Back in 1964, scientists used a special rocket to listen for X-rays from space, and they stumbled upon some mysterious X-ray sources that seemed to appear out of nowhere. It was puzzling. But in 1971, some really smart astronomers cracked the mystery. Those X-rays were coming from a bright, shining blue star that was orbiting around a weird, dark object, the black hole. They thought that the X-rays came from the bright star's material getting pulled in by the tricky black hole. Picture a vacuum cleaner sucking up crumbs, but instead it was a black hole pulling stuff from a star. But here is where it gets more interesting, probing the depths of black hole mysteries. In space, there are heaps of stars shining in the night sky, billions and billions of them. Among these stars, roughly one in every thousand has this incredible ability to change into something truly mysterious and powerful, a black hole. These cosmic giants have such strong gravity that not even light can escape from them. Now, think about our cosmic neighborhood, the Milky Way. It's a massive galaxy, and inside it, there are over a hundred billion stars. Yep, that's 100,000 million stars. Among all these stars, scientists think that around 100 million black holes are quietly hiding out there. Spotting these mysterious objects isn't a walk in the park. Imagine trying to find a tiny needle in a huge haystack the size of a whole galaxy. 
NASA experts guess that in our Milky Way, there might be somewhere between 10 million to a billion of these black holes from stars. The black hole closest to Earth, nicknamed the Unicorn, is roughly about 1,500 light years away. It got its name for two reasons. First, it's in the Monocorus constellation, and second, it's rare because it's surprisingly light, about three times the mass of the Sun. In 2021, astronomers showed off a breathtaking new picture of an enormous black hole at the center of the M87 galaxy. They used a special kind of light called polarized light, which behaves differently in terms of its direction and brightness compared to regular light. By looking at the black hole with polarized light, they could see even more detailed features of its structure. Polarized light gives us special insights because it shows how light waves move in specific directions. This allowed scientists to discover more about the black hole, like its magnetic fields and how stuff swirls around it. The image created using polarized light showed amazing patterns and light arrangements, helping us learn a lot more about what this black hole is like. Polarization is a special feature of light waves that helps us understand magnetic fields. It's similar to how a compass needle shows us where the North Pole is by pointing in that direction. Scientists used this technique to take a fresh picture of a black hole, and guess what they saw? They discovered a magnetic ring surrounding the black hole. Black holes have three layers, kind of like a powerful vacuum cleaner. The first layer is the event horizon, a boundary where everything, even light, gets stuck forever due to the super strong gravity. Inside, there's the inner event horizon, even harder to escape. At the center is the singularity, where all the black hole's mass squeezes into an incredibly small space. It's like the heart of the black hole. The singularity is the dense core of a black hole, where all its mass is squished into a tiny space. We can't see black holes directly like stars. Instead, scientists detect radiation from things falling into them. It's like seeing the effects of something without actually seeing the black hole itself. That's not all. Black holes, white holes, and cosmic boundaries. Now, when it comes to supermassive black holes that hang out at the centers of galaxies, spotting them can be tricky. They often hide behind thick clouds of dust and gas, making it tough to detect the radiation they produce. But something fascinating happens sometimes. As matter gets closer to a black hole, it can bounce off a special boundary known as the event horizon and shoot outward. This creates incredibly powerful jets of material that shoot away from the black hole at incredibly high speeds. It's like a cosmic slingshot. These jets are so intense that we can observe them from very far away, even if we can't see the black hole itself. Taking the picture of the black hole in M87 was a huge task that involved many telescopes from different observatories around the world. The amount of data collected was so massive that it couldn't be sent over the internet and took two years of research to process. Now, let's talk about an interesting idea, white holes. While black holes suck everything in and nothing can get out of them, white holes are theoretical areas in space that work oppositely. Just as nothing can enter a black hole, nothing can escape from a white hole. In the past, white holes were seen as purely theoretical, but some scientists are now considering whether they might have a connection to black holes. If you were observing a white hole from a distance, it would seem quite similar to a black hole. It would have mass, possibly be spinning, and might even have a ring of dust and gas encircling its edge, which is similar to the black hole's event horizon. But here's the big difference. While things can only go into a black hole, objects can come out of a white hole. When things emerge from a white hole, it's like a big burp happening in the universe. The white hole works in reverse compared to a black hole. Similar to this, a white hole has an event horizon which acts as a boundary where nothing can enter. It's like an extremely exclusive club in the vast space-time with a border that no spaceship could ever reach. Inside a white hole, things can leave and interact with the rest of the universe. It's like a gateway that allows objects to escape from the white hole and explore the outside world. However, what's intriguing is that nothing from the universe's history can enter a white hole. It's as if it lives in its separate timeline, disconnected from events that have already happened. But wait, because scientists are on the brink of unraveling this mystery. Einstein's equations and the nature of space. In 1915, Albert Einstein's groundbreaking discovery, known as Einstein's field equation, 
caused a huge stir in the world of physics. It completely changed how we understood gravity and revealed something astonishing about the nature of reality. Instead of viewing space and time as unchanging and fixed, Einstein's equations showed that they could twist, bend, and warp in response to big objects like stars and planets. It's like space and time themselves can bend and shape around matter. This mind-blowing discovery triggered a race among scientists to understand how space reacts to the stuff in it. One physicist, Carl Schwarzschild, was a pioneer in this race. He cracked the code by finding an exact solution to Einstein's equations in just a year. Schwarzschild's calculations revealed an incredible concept, the idea of a singularity. Imagine a point with infinite density where space wraps tightly around itself, isolating it from the rest of the universe and creating a mysterious no man's land. It's a place so strange and mysterious that it challenges our understanding. This singularity is the origin of what we now call black holes, regions of space that are seriously twisted. They're like cosmic traps that nothing, not even light, can escape from. These black holes have such strong gravity that they gobble up everything that gets too close, dragging it into their mysterious and unexplored depths. In 1960, a mathematician named Martin David Kruskal expanded on Schwarzschild's ideas about black holes. He introduced a new concept called singularity, but didn't fully realize its importance back then. Little did he know that his work would become important as black holes became more widely recognized. Black holes are intriguing objects explained by a theory called general relativity. This theory also suggests the existence of white holes, which are theoretical entities. The interesting thing is that while black holes trap and swallow everything around them, white holes would do the opposite and release matter and energy, decrypting gamma ray bursts and white hole secrets. Initially, it seemed that white holes were similar to another idea called wormholes, which are like theoretical tunnels in space-time that might connect faraway places. Both white holes and wormholes were considered possible in math but unlikely in reality. But recently, some smart physicists have revived the idea of white holes from obscurity. Why? Because they want to save their mysterious partners, black holes, from a not-so-great fate. The thought that white holes could be connected to black holes might give us a new way of looking at and understanding these cosmic happenings. Since the 70s, scientists wondered about trapped info in black holes, following Stephen Hawking's idea of their slow disappearance. Physics laws keep this info inside. It can't just vanish. How a black hole ends is a big mystery. Some propose a mind-bending idea. A tiny black hole transforms into a different type, called a white hole. These tiny white holes, like hair strands in size, don't have the strong pull of black holes, but hold all the info swallowed by their predecessors. In 2006, NASA's Swift satellite spotted a huge burst of energy known as a gamma-ray burst. These bursts usually come from exploding stars and fall into short or long categories. But GRB060614 didn't fit either. Lasting an incredible 102 seconds, it was like a new kind of cosmic fireworks show. These bursts release immense energy, being among the universe's most powerful events. They're crucial for understanding space. GRB060614 puzzled scientists. It was unlike any burst seen before, traveling billions of light years to reach our satellite. A light year is about 5.88 trillion miles, or 9.46 trillion kilometers. What made it more intriguing was its location in a star-scarce area where sudden bursts like this are rare. Typically, gamma-ray bursts last 2 to 30 seconds, making this longer duration exceptionally unusual and capturing scientists' attention. Scientists have a captivating theory. GRB0-60614 might have been a white hole, but confirming this remains tricky. It's a baffling event that challenges our understanding of space, leaving NASA scientists puzzled. Even after years of analysis using powerful telescopes like the Hubble, we're still uncertain. It's a cosmic puzzle testing our grasp of the universe. Our understanding of the universe is incomplete. General relativity, explaining gravity, struggles with black and white holes mysteries. The immense energy inside these holes makes it tough for the theory to fully explain what's happening. Plus, 
There are sci-fi concepts like wormholes, portals connecting far-off places, or even different universes. But, for now, these ideas are speculative and need more physics understanding to confirm. It's astonishing to think things once deemed fiction, like black holes, might be real. As scientists delve deeper, we might uncover truths about these mysterious objects, including white holes, wormholes, and other fascinating phenomena that were once confined to imagination. Do you think white holes could hold the key to revolutionizing our understanding of the universe? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And for more interesting updates about white holes and space in general, make sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. See you in the next video.